Thursday night in Montreal, in a game against the Anaheim Ducks. Anaheim Ducks forward Trevor Zegras takes the puck behind the net and does what no other player except for two have done at the NHL level before. He scoops the puck up onto his forehand, lifts it up flat into his blade, and scoops it around and onto the far post behind Samuel Montembeau. He scores a goal with this move. This is the Michigan, and this goal set the entire hockey world on fire. And to me, it kind of gets me thinking. Okay, what exactly are we going to see when the Calder Trophy voting goes down? Because Trevor Zagros is a rookie in the National Hockey League, and currently he is second in rookie scoring behind Detroit Red Wings prospect turned rookie Lucas Raymond. To me, Raymond was always going to be that guy who took over the Calder race because he was the guy who had the most points. And we had said that in several videos. Okay, the Calder is pretty much a points race. That's kind of what the NHL people look at when it comes to deciding who wins because, you know, they don't watch every single rookie out there. They just go out there, look at the points, say, okay, that guy has the most points. I'm going to go to vote him. But no, it's a little different now. And we're going to be talking about why that might be the case in this video, and why Trevor Zegras might actually be a lot closer to winning this trophy than initially anticipated. And I guess initially is a bad way to put it, let's say, than anticipated like a few months ago. So, right now, if you go over to the NHL rookie scoring race, let's go over and see where Zegras and where Raymond are. Take a look at the games played and the points too, because not just the points, but the games played also kind of matters right here. Raymond is first in the NHL in rookie scoring with 34 points in 43 games played. Not bad for a Red Wings teenager to make his debut with the team. The first teenager to do as well on the Red Wings since Steve Iserman. Larkin was you know, here. He was able to be a rookie teenager at the same time, but he wasn't as good as Raymond is today. Second in terms of rookie scoring is Trevor Zegras with 32 points in 40 games played. So his point per game metric is actually better than Lucas Raymond's with 12 goals, 20 assists in these 40 games. Also, he's got more goals than Raymond does. That Michigan goal he scored yesterday was good enough to put him up there in the lead in this respect. Obviously, Tanner Janot of the Nashville Predators is still first overall. Anton Lundell has 27 points in 47 games played. He has overtaken Moritz Sider, who has 27 points in 43 games. Sider, of course, is a defenseman, though, so there's an entirely different argument to have about him. And because he is also in this conversation, it makes things very interesting when you try to discuss who should be the unanimous winner. Then you go down the list, 5th overall is Tanner Janot, 26 points in 45 games. He's the top goal guy amongst all rookies. Michael Bunting, Dawson Mercer, Jamie Drysdale, and Seth Jarvis round out the rest of the names here. But when it comes to Trevor Zegras and Lucas Raymond, the fact is, Zegras has been spectacular. And I don't want to take away from anything that Lucas Raymond has done, because Raymond, as you have known, as you've seen my channel, been watching me make videos about this guy this entire time. Raymond has been spectacular, and he's been one of the best players on the Detroit Red Wings. But for Trevor Zagras, he just has an aspect to his game that Lucas Raymond hasn't even really touched yet, and that is the wow factor. I get it, Lucas Raymond has a few good highlights once in a while, a few good snipes, a few good plays here and there, but Trevor Zegras is a player that the NHL has gone out there and shoved down our throats, and for good reason. You see the things this guy does out there on the ice, his number one sports center play of the year where he Michigan assists it over to the guy in front, he throws it over the net, he tried that move again a second time later on in the year. You see games like this yesterday where he does the Michigan, it's a two goal game for Trevor Zagras. You see the fact that the NHL is pulling their own rules and they're stretching them out to say, okay, 
even though Trevor Zegers did not make the All-Star team, we're going to include him in the All-Star weekend anyway because there's going to be a breakaway challenge and we want to see this guy at the All-Star game, or not the All-Star game, but the competition, and we want to see him do something. So they're giving him a pass and they're flying him out to Vegas to do the thing. You see what the NHL voter people are saying about this entire Calder voting. This is the tweet from just four days ago. Take a look at this. Will Trevor Zegras alley-oop his way to Rookie of the Year? 16 NHL.com writers casted their votes on a 5-4-3-2-1 basis four days ago, and they concluded that Trevor Zegras should be the top guy in terms of the Calder Trophy odds. They gave him 67 votes. Sider had 62, Raymond had 59, and Tanner Janot had 23. He also had Anton Lundell, Nadelkovic, and Michael Bunting receiving five-plus votes as well. And when the NHL posts this graphic, it really says to me, in my mind, okay, the guys who are going to be deciding this trophy, because it's, you know, it's the media, it's the NHL people that cast their votes on a wider scale, not just 16 of these people, but more people, they cast their votes on a very big scale, and they decide the trophy. And when I think about these results from the NHL's own Twitter page, Lucas Raymond is not even second! They have Cider over him! Now, I could totally understand the argument why you should have Cider over Raymond, because hey, he's such a good defenseman, he's arguably the best defenseman on the team already, he just needs a puck moving, skating defenseman to play alongside of him because Danny the Kaiser, sorry, he ain't cutting it, buddy. But Cider has been so phenomenal as a defenseman that I'm honestly kind of surprised to see him here because, like, in my own biased perspective, I kind of felt like the Calder race was mostly just a points race, and we've been saying that the entire time. Because even going back the past few years, Kaprizov, you have Makar, you have Pedersen, you have... Bars all, it's always been just a points race. And so, to see this idea pop up that now, the top point guy, Lucas Raymond, might not even be second in voting, it kind of blows my mind, but at the same time, you know, I think I'm open-minded enough to go out there and understand that this is a possibility and try to explain why. Cider has been so good, so much better than any other defenseman we have seen out of all the rookies. Like, I'm sorry, Hughes and McCarr, they might have gotten more points, but Cider is probably the best all-round defenseman we have seen as a rookie in a very long time. But when it comes to Trevor Zegras, even though this guy might not have as many points as a Lucas Raymond at the end of the day, even though his impact to the Ducks might not be as influential as a Moritz Siders is to the Red Wings either, the fact is, star power gets you votes. Trevor Zagris and the crazy, crazy highlights he has that are all over not just the NHL highlights, but the sporting highlights in general. The Michigan becoming the fourth Michigan goal scorer to ever grace this earth in the NHL. He's technically the third because Svechnikov did it twice, but it's the fourth time it's happened in the National Hockey League. And oddly enough, it's only happened against Canadian teams, so there you go. But Trevor Zegras always being on the highlight reel, always giving us a reason to talk about him, that is the one factor that Lucas Raymond lacks that Zegras has in the bag. And if there's going to be any reason why Trevor Zegras eventually wins the Calder over Raymond, it's going to be that. Now, for me personally, do I think it's enough? Honestly, if I was a betting man, which I'm not, I don't really like gambling and betting and that stuff, I kind of just like to save my money and put it into investments, but when I think about Trevor Zegras, I kind of think, okay, there are like 40 games left on the year. What are the odds that he does something crazy again? They're pretty high, isn't it? Like, he's going to do something crazy once more to wow us out of our seats in the 40 remaining games we have this season, if not twice. Twice or thrice. He's got a lot more time to do something else that'll push him up on the NHL's, not even the NHL's, but like the Sports Center's, ESPN's top plays of the year thing again. And when anybody else sees that, they're going to go, okay, yeah, that's the guy that comes to my mind when I say the rookie of the year, because who else can do things that he can do? So, does Zagras win the Calder? 
Honestly, I think it's getting a lot more likely than unlikely, but talk to me in the comments what do you think either way. I hope you enjoyed this Vitaraj Rolson IA9. And bye. <laughs>